One. Hey, everybody. Let's Hello. have a camera. Boom. Hey, it's Hi. us. How We're do in you do? We're in a different part of our living room. <laughs> We've teleported to the other side yes. of the living room. Mm -hmm. How do you do? Welcome, everybody. Wow, it's good to see a lot of familiar faces here. Hello, Zen Garden. Hello, Jericho. Hello. Hello to everybody joining in the stream chat going so fast. Hi, 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 hi. Hey, Sammy Gold and Megan. Hey, Shirley and Wolf. Hey, everybody. Glad to have you join us. Oh, awesome. Super hyped to see so many new famous. Uh, famous. Famous. So many new famous faces. faces. Uh, Scarlet Willow 9, thanks for cheering those bits. And Pandy Paradox, thanks for resubbing with your. What do you got that? Rare parrot. There mm, it is. Drop rare. a rare parrot in there. Three months for you, my friend. Connor Army Alaska, welcome back for four months. Pandy Paradox is saying, "You got their. Sh you got your shirt. Awesome. Uh, or no, I see. Oh. Uh, I love you all. We are alive. Yes. Indeed, absolutely. <laughs> Pippi Moo. Uh, Pajama Mole, thanks for resubbing for six months. Glad to have Z -Z -Z you back. Zzz Tana. Welcome back. And Zystem EXE, subscribing Ooh. with your Prime. ZZZ Tana for five months. Rare Parrot as well. We got a lot of Rare Parrots Sylvan here. Cosplay for seven months. Nice. Let, wow. me, let me make these big gifts Turtle Cow larger. Cat back for three months. There we go. Nice and big. 8-Bit Brie also back for seven months. 8-Bit Brie. Aussie Tay 23 with the big bits. Nice, nice. Wait, where do we go? Tara Nokis. Nice. Oh my oh. gosh. Glad to have you guys all back. Uh, thank you uh, to all of our mods for being here. I appreciate you guys as well as our lieutenants. I see Boajai is here with the gift sub. Hey, B. Uh, Octonova, resubbing for five months. Where did I start off? I want to say a few more thank yous because we had some people at the very beginning of the stream that I didn't even get to say hello to. Ooh, no, Alana, resubbing Ooh. for four months. <laughs> Welcome back, Brave Lily. Thank you for the gift sub to Awkward Llama 890. Bonzo Bean 214, resubbing for five months. Astro Haley, how do you do? Resubbing for six months. Glad to have you back. Zero Logic and RA9 did nothing wrong. <laughs> I like that. Very clever. Turtle Crow. Turtle Cow Cat, you yes. said. Mm -hmm. um, keep yeah, right. my, he keep, keep hitting that. my laptop with all my notes. Oh, we got some notes. We this got is some our, notes. So, guys, this is our Go Deviant China, China stream. And Amelia and I went to China for over two weeks. You were in there, yeah, two weeks. Uh, and we it, visited the three biggest cities in China. We, we first did. went to Shanghai, then to Beijing, and then to Guangzhou. 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 It was fantastic. Wow. Three totally different cities, totally different climates. We yes. met a lot of awesome people. Yes. Hello, do we have our friends who are streaming in from China? We intentionally put this stream at a very late time, time for us. It is 10 p.m. here in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. What time is it and where are you streaming from? We tried to time this so that it would be accessible to China. Yes. And uh, in China, I believe it's 2 Two. PM, yes. Um, which means, and also all of China's in the same time zone, which is pretty cool. Grave Lily, thanks again for that other gift sub. Jingalese, thank you for the gift sub. Do we got Janet in Hong Kong? That's good. We'll take that. Four That'll p.m. Do. in Australia. Idaho, five p.m. in Aust oh, five p.m. in Australia, or four thirty in Australia, depending Nine on what Nine a.m. in Russia. Yes, it's two o three in Guangzhou. Glad to see you. Wait, where'd you go? Um, Eleven p.m. in Canada. Echo Mike is in Guangzhou. 6 a.m. in England. We have some friends also tuning in from Japan, like Amy655. Glad to have you with us. Uh, 2 p.m. China for Bling Bio as well. 7 a.m. in Spain. 7 a.m. in the Netherlands. We got the ultimate nerd is here. It's 10 p.m. for you in Los Angeles, just like us. Some friends in Melbourne, Chicago. Thank you guys for staying up late. If you're staying up late, if you're staying up too late and you have something you need to be doing. Go in the bed. morning. Yeah, I know. Sometimes you don't want to. But I'm glad that you guys are here to join us. We have some friends, a lot of friends in Australia. We have some friends in 7 Russia. 7 p.m. in New Zealand. Fantastic. 1 a.m. in wait, Ohio. Wait, wait, wait. Is Philippines. it is it Monday or is it? It's not Monday. It's Sunday. I know, but in the future, some people are in the future right now. I know. Some people are Good in the God, future. Good God, It is mm, Sunday. It is Saturday for us, but Sunday for you. We missed you guys too. Boats are us. Uh, boats, Russ. Boats, Russ. Boats, Russ. Boats, Russ. <laughs> it's settled. Um, we have uh, 
Asian droid sharing those bits. Thank you, Sour the Sour. Thank you all, all for your donations. And Shanae446, thank you for the love. We appreciate your donations Zistem as well. System XE, thank you for the gift sub and welcome to Bling Bio. Deviant Koto cheering up some bits. And Sarah Bell in CA. Uh, we have, whoa, Jingleys with the gift sub bomb like crazy. Mm -hmm. Just three minutes ago, and Squirrel Squaw for seven months. April Love Sanders, as always, for six. Oh, wow. Thank you guys all for sharing these bits. We have CC0125 resubbing for seven months as well from, from Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. Uh, Ultimate Nerd resubbing for six months, and Red Fox 2992. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. If you have Amazon Prime and want to subscribe, you can get a free subscription. It's already included in your Amazon Prime. It is. So just click on that Prime uh, crown that's floating somewhere here or the panel below the video, and you can get all of the emotes. We yes. have a subscriber Discord that I want to tell you guys about, which has... We are doing a Connor Army Art Month project, um, and we are have... Uh, photography channels in there, cosplay channels. People are able to share their fan art any day of the week, uh, not just on our Fan Art Friday streams. And um, yeah, some people are in the future, Amelia. It's crazy. Some people me. are in the future. 2 p.m. in the Philippines. Whoa. How was our Saturday night? Pretty good. Yes, we we've been cleaning. <laughs> we've been not just cleaning, but radically moving around the furniture in our living room. Do you ever get like that where you're just like, I need to move everything around and just rearrange the space and yeah, it's imagine it all? It's pretty crazy that right now we're actually sitting where our couch used to be facing the wall. Our couch used to face away from. I know. We're switch we've switched literally everything in our room around. Mm -hmm. So Igby, blown. Igby's mind was blown. He's sitting on the back of the couch to look out the window now, which is yeah. a good upgrade for young Igs. Um, but we have some video from our trip to the Great Wall of China. Yes. Which is uh, located, or we went outside Beijing. It's, it's, uh, it's um, technically, be yeah, Beijing, right outside Beijing. And we also went to the Summer Palace. We did. Um, so I have my notebook here to share <clears throat> all the facts. Um, a lot of facts for But uh, it was really incredible experience getting to go visit the Great Wall of China. Um, Bucket list, check. Yes. It Gotta was it. truly epic. Um, they say one is not a hero if you've not been to the Great Wall of China. Yes. Uh, Doesn't mean that you are a hero if you have been. Exactly. But it means you can't be a hero if you've Unless, not been. Unless, yeah, that's what Masha, they say. Masha, thank you very much for subscribing for six months. Glad to have you back. Uh, Yin Yang, one, 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 free. Cheering up some bits. Something Mr. Silver? That's what I'm going to guess that is. Okay. Thanks for subscribing with your Prime as well. Foxes and socks. That's adorable. Yes. Uh, thank, thank you for the, you donation. For the donation. Love to you in New Zealand. Uh, what we've got, um, T.S. Arico subscribing tier one. Welcome aboard. And Jishu with their Prime for two months. Hey, Sick Parvis. How you doing? Thank hey, you for the gift sub. Glad to have you. Sick Welcome, Masha, as well, and everybody else. Scarlet Willow cheering up some bits. Do you guys want to see a little bit of this footage? Yes, I think we shall so share. So, Amelia is going to share some Tidbits. knowledge. Mm -hmm, some knowledge. Did I'm we have any Peking duck? Yes, after. we did have Peking duck. Yes, we had a lot of dim sum. Mm -hmm. I loved all the dumplings. Ari all Stark Knight, you are right about the Summer Palace being amazing and crowded. Very you, crowded. You will see in our video very amazing. just how crowded it is. Yes. Um, who here has <clears> been <throat> to China? Who here has, has been to the Great Wall or to the Summer Palace? Yes, show of hands. Show of hands. Who has been here? Well, not here, but well, there. there. <laughs> <laughs> we are back in Los Angeles, but we were there yes. before. Scarlett Willow, thank you for cheering up those bits. Are we planning to go Deviant in London one day? We would love Ooh, to go Deviant London. I would love London. to go Deviant in London. Uh, honestly, the UK is somewhere we would love to go. Um, we mm. have yeah, Zocchini37. Thanks for subscribing with your Prime. Um, A lot of people say they wish they had gone. Yes. Sick Barbers, thank you for the gift sub. Uh, you, you've been to Shanghai, I see. Well, we were in Shanghai for uh, We Play Game Expo. This Deviant reread, this stream will be one hour. Uh, we'll stream for an hour. We've got about 35, 40 minutes of footage that we can share with you guys in just yes. a little bit. All right. Well, if you, if you <laughs> haven't gone and you do go to China soon, I would definitely recommend uh, taking a trip to the Great Wall of China. Um, it was definitely worth it. Um, Check yeah. it out. Let's 
Let's show some video you footage, see it? shall you we? see some footage? Cut, yes. cut to the tape? All right. Here we go. We're going to talk over the, vintage, uh, the video the footage, vintage. the vintage, the video footage just a little bit. Um, for the most part, the audio is, uh, sh you know, it's right into the camera. So we're going to try to balance it as best as we can, mm -hmm. but we'll just basically not talk over it. Cool, dude. Two, 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 two. Thanks for subscribing. No, I have, I'm going to talk over it to Welcome. give my information. To determine the best approach. The best approach. approach. Here mm -hmm. we go. Cutting right. scenes and go deviant. Boom. Okay. So, the Great Wall is one of the largest building constructions ever undertaken. In Chinese, it is called Cheng Chen, which means long wall. The Great Wall actually consists of numerous walls built over two millennia across northern China and southern Mongolia. So here we are taking the ski lift, <clears throat> or a chair lift rather, so it's not, not any skiing. Short Music Geek, thanks for the gift sub. Uh, these chair lifts take us up to the top of the wall, and our tour guide told us that if we wanted to, we could take lots and lots and lots of steps, mm. or we could take this chair lift, which was recommended. Yes. <laughs> recommended for optimal fun. Optimal fun. Optimal. Nick So. This is so cool. Thank you for saying so, Shaolin Eds. <laughs> it's a ride. Right. So. We just need to, this is, and this is the toboggan ride, which you guys will see in the end is how we got back down. Yes. There'll be a lot of time up at the top when we're walking around. Okay, sure. maybe I'll, I'll yeah, I'll show so that with. Stick with the video for a second. Mm -hmm. So we went there with also, oh, there's someone yep. going by on the toboggan. See ya. <laughs> That'll be us in just a little bit. Um, we went with Nick One Ent, who is our manager, who traveled us all the way to China and helped us organize mm -hmm. these events. Look at those beautiful mountains. Yeah, it's, it was so beautiful. The weather was very crisp. Um, the very, very clear air up on the wall over here. Um, and it was the middle of autumn, so the colors were very, very beautiful. Absolutely. And you went early in the day. That's mm -hmm. apparently a trick if you're going to the Great Wall of China. Yes. You want to get there early. So this is the Mutianyu section of the Great Wall which is one of the oldest sections um, and is less populated. So the battling section is the most popular. This is the Mutianyu section. Yes, MJ Watson, we were raiding the Great Wall of China. This is, can you imagine even coming up against this as like an opposing force saying, I'm going to attack them here? No I way. Know. Well, actually, they wouldn't be doing it from this side because oh, yeah, this is right. the Chinese side. But it's the same wall. Yeah, still. It is super pretty. I recommend going there if you can, Thunderstorms. Definitely. Thunderstorms. Mendo Boy and Alchemist Steve, thank you for the donations. You guys are awesome. That was a super fun toboggan ride down there. You'll see more about it. I had so. never tobogganed. We wanted to go tobogganing on our Go Deviant Switzerland stream, but we got there too late. We there did. There was no toboggan to be had for us. Um, oh, hi, Claire. Hey, Claire, hi, Claire Brad. Brad. How you doing? We met Claire in China. We did. And we have Squ uh, Squidney R subscribing with her Prime and Short Music Geek. Thank you for the gift sub as well. So here we are, reaching the top. <sighs> so epic. I still can't believe we got to do this. It's pretty cool. Yeah. The fact that we've been able to do these Connor Army meetups around, come meet you guys in person, and then get to explore the world is just, it's incredible. Yeah. It is. You, Hiko8, thank you for subscribing with your Prime for five months. Glad to have you back. Hello. So this part was a little nerve-wracking. I always get a little nervous getting off ski lifts. Yeah, the guys are like, go, go, get off, go. Get out of here, run. run. <laughs> Save yourself. Nick One Ant. That's that Nick One Ant. Repping that Twitch gear. Real hard. Mm -hmm. This stream will be about an hour long. For anyone who's asking. Yep. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. So how's the audio level for everyone? Probably pretty good. <laughs> Let's let ourselves get to the top of the wall, and then you can share what you learned. Amelia is very eager with her notes. She's been preparing her homework. Yes, I wanted to be uh, informed. Yes, indeed. Cool. Thank you guys for the audio check. We're slowly improving our system here. 
Whoa, Whoa just, just a, a demigod. demigod. Gift sub bomb. Boom. You can say I'm just a demigod. That's right. Mm -hmm. Welcome everybody who got those gift subs. Check out the emotes that you have uh, if you received one of those gift subs in the gift sub bomb. This was so cool. So... <laughs> Looking out to Mongolia. What would have been mm -hmm. where the Mongols were. Yes. Tee. <laughs> Super tourist. Roder, thanks for subscribing and draft many. Subscribing with your prime. Welcome. So, <clears throat> two sides of the wall. And here we're seeing the daughter wall and the gutter, the rain gutter. The entire top of the wall functions as a giant rain catch, and all of the water drains off the wall towards China, the inland side of the wall. Mm -hmm. So that the exterior side of the wall would be more barren have less foliage, less cover for attacking troops. Yes. So this is one of the many watchtowers. Um, do you think it's time now for me to share some of my... You can do whatever you want, Bug. I just don't know what it's saying right now, so I can't tell. I think that a little later into the video is when there's just like a lot of walking. Okay. You can... So these, uh, these little crevices are where people used to, soldiers used to push out big boulders, hot water, push off um, ladders from invading troops. Real you say, like, they just used to do that every day. They just go up there with a ladder. <laughs> yeah, just push it push off. Push a ladder off. This was an ancient Chinese secret. Ancient Take a Chinese boulder to way. the top, push a boulder off the to defend. If someone was, you know, you gotta kind of set it up a little bit. Let's they would use ladders, obviously, to try to get this. up over the wall. They'd be poking the ladders to fall back off or pouring hot, boiling water or oil down onto the attackers. To defeat <clears throat> the Huns. The Huns. <laughs> Elaine likes Astro. Thanks for subscribing with your Prime for two months. And Grave Lily again with a gift sub. Welcome to Gamer Addict 123 Glad to have you here. And... Haley B8603, cheering up some bits. Glad to have you guys here with us. Nun Pizza Beef to the left. What a fantastic Twitch username. Kimmy mm -hmm. Hazard. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Woo! Come on in. Come, Come on, on in. in. We're going inside of the watchtowers, and Amelia wants to tell you all about them. Okay. Well, before, Great Wall of China, raiders. Before I do that... I will tell you that the Great Wall actually consists of numerous walls that were built over two millennia across northern China and southern Mongolia. The most extensive and best preserved version of the wall dates from the Ming Dynasty, which was from 1368 to 1644. And this section that we're on was resurrected created during the Ming Dynasty, and... Um, it was resurrected during the Ming Dynasty. <laughs> it found its purpose. Anyway, um, and it runs for 13,000 miles, or 21,000 kilometers. It's huge. Mm -hmm. It traces the crest line of hills and mountains as it snakes across the Chinese countryside. Although lengthy sections of the wall are now in ruins and have disappeared completely, it is still... So here he's talking about that. Okay. We just have to kind of pay attention to the video ahead. All right. It was... It was... No, it was made of... I think here he's talking about the fire when they were burning so that they would have horse dung burning so they would have a strong smoke if they wanted to send signals to each other. To know, to say that we're being invaded or... Bad people coming. Miss Slothrop, thank you for the gift sub bomb. Welcome everybody who receives those as well. Cassie Roll 4103 thanks for subscribing with your Prime. And Kojun Desiree Jail, thank you. Grave Lily for the gift sub. And Chi Mia, subscribing with your Prime. Happy Nick. There's Happy Nick. There's the wall. Getting that bucket list photo, you know. Yep, yep, yep. 
So, King Zen became the first emperor of the Qing Dynasty in 20, 221 BC, and he united China's warring states. And then to position the empire against the people from the north, he ordered the building of new walls to, cre to connect remaining fortifications along the empire's northern frontier, making it into a single system. So there were already walls that were built all over China. Um, maybe not right now. Um, Cute. Cute wife and, peeking out of the Great Wall of China. Yep, that's me. Here's a little video that we can let. Okay. on the Great Wall. Perhaps you've heard of it. Uh, we're having a lot of fun here. Oh yeah. It's kind of amazing to be here. It's a little mind-blowing when you can see just how long it is and how steep the mountains are. And how it winds around. It's very irregular. Bunch of little, 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 little steps. And then big, Bunch big, 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 big steps. And then little, 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 little. May I present over here? China. But used to not be China. No. This way. China. Always China. And here. It's a cannon. Out. The bee! Bye, bee. There's a lot of little bees, which is a good sign. It likes you. As you were with the info. I just want them to hear too many levels of audio at the same time. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is a good spot to tell them more. So, all of these different sections of the wall existed based off where the nomadic peoples were and where they were defending themselves from. And as the uh, people of ancient China grouped together more and more so. Well, when the em when the first emperor of the Qin dynasty, he was the one that united all of these warring states and started to build one big sen single system of the wall. And the builders always used, tried to use local resources um, in these early parts of the wall. For example, stone, brick, Tampered earth, um, depending on what part of the wall, what part of China the wall is. So yeah, if we're wood. In so it was all uh, natural resources, and then the Ming Dynasty in the 14th century revived the concept of building the wall again to keep the Mongolian nomadic northern tribes out of China. And the Ming construction was much stronger and more elaborate because they used brick and stone instead of ramming up the earth. And up to 25,000 watchtowers are estimated to have been constructed during the wall. This store here. That's, for, that's for time right out. Now. <laughs> There's where you store it, Amelia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very cute way to go. Yeah. And and each watchtower had one adorable Amelia in each little cubby. Yeah. Wait. Yes, Puppet Kurt. Twenty five thousand watchtowers. This is a long <clears throat> wall. It would take you a really, really, really long time to mm -hmm. walk from one end of the wall to the other. Yes. And the sections near the Ming capital of Beijing were especially strong, hence where we are right now. So now I can tell you a little bit about the Mutanyu section of the Great Wall. Cool. Hang on one second. Pork Chop Wino 98 has resub for five months. Whoa. Thank you very much. And P. Reganans. Okay. Perry Greenlands. Five months. Hey. You're awesome. Uh, thank you for joining and helping us build this community. You know, no matter what. If you want, you guys in the message, you can type how to pronounce your username if you like. Kimmy Hazard, I can say easily. Seven months. 
months. Seven months. Thank you, Kimmy, for all of your help, and just glad to have you on our mod team. Much mod love. ZZZ Tana, thank you for the donation. Happy New Year's to you guys. Celebration to everybody who is uh, getting ready for the New Year. Yeah. So here we are on our way back down. Amelia, tell us more. All right. Well, I think I can slow my roll a little bit. Yeah, I'm um, gonna run out of facts. Yeah. I'm gonna run out of. <laughs> Don't wanna run out of facts. Riveting info. <laughs> Lily livered scallywag. Thank you for the bits and karma or justice oh, as well as Scarlet Willow Nine cheering up those bits like Ozzy Trey Twenty Three does. You know how it is. Yes, I do. All right. So this is a Chinese flag. Yes, in case it you don't is. Know what it looks like. Chinese flag, waving. Billowing. Billowing. And there was a bit of a, a, a shop up here yeah. where you can buy some things. And I don't know if you hear it in this video, but you guys should know they were playing Imagine Dragons on the Great Wall of China. You make me a, you make me a believer, believer. That. That one. <laughs> Did um, I find any of the stairs particularly steep? I mean, yeah. Yes. Some were steep and some were very shallow. It was tricky to walk around on there. You it definitely, definitely was on. very tricky to walk around. Some of them were like tiny, tiny, tiny little steps. And then other ones were just massive where you just really were lifting those legs to try and get up and down the steps. Jingleys, thank you for the gift sub bomb. Welcome. Oh, uh, fun fact. So these are um, gutters uh, that kind of stick out a little bit from the wall so that the water doesn't, um, what's the word, Brian? Erode. Erode the wall. So very smart. Amelia, Dog Freckles thinks your voice is so pretty. Oh, thank you, Dog Freckles. I think your username is very pretty. I think your Dog Freckles must be very pretty. Yes. Yes. Any dog that has freckles is awesome. Okay, here we are to bargaining down. <clears throat> here we go. You guys ready for an adventure? Nick went first because he's the bravest. He is the bravest. Of course, this chat is so positive. It's the most positive community on Twitch, says DeviantBeck96. Thanks for the gift. Here we go. You guys ready? Ready to descend? Ready to descend. Beep. Beep. So, Beep. There is only one. All right, see ya. You were either going or you were breaking. That's right. Or you were going. Full speed or, or break. You were breaking. Mm -hmm. I try to go full speed all the time. No, but then there were there were men saying no, slow down along the way. It wasn't too scary. No. No. It was more fun. It was medium scary, but in the medium scary where it's exciting, it's like a roller coaster, but a slower roller coaster. It was a slower coaster. Yeah. Keep going, you know? Nikki. Keep yeah. going. Mm. Nikki! There's Nick. Mm -hmm. Looking like Bowser, hunched over on his Mario Kart. Yeah. Yes. Let's go. You guys Let's dig go. it. You want to tell them some more facts about the Great Wall of China? Yeah, Summarize them. So the Mutanyu section of the Great Wall is one of the oldest sections, and it was first built in the mid 6th century uh, during the Northern Qi Dynasty, um, and then during the Ming Dynasty. The this lady was so slow. Yes. During the Ming Dynasty, that lady was so slow and she was killing our vibe. Mm. Um, <laughs> during the Ming Dynasty, construction of this present wall began, building over the previous wall. Here's Nick. We were trying to let this lady go ahead of us enough that we could race. You know, yeah. Launch it. Get some real speed going. Punch go! <laughs> Punch it. Punch it. This is very cool. I'm glad you guys dig this. It was a lot of fun. Um, so this section of the wall is built mainly with granite, and the wall is 7 to 8 meters high, which is 23 to 28 feet high, and it is 4 to 5 meters wide, which Here's is Amelia Cam. 13 to 16 feet, meter, uh, feet wide. And that's my information. <laughs> This is some quality content, says Kim Station. 
Just zoom it down and help go and deviant. Yes. The whole point of these go deviant streams is we want to encourage you guys to go do something you've never done before. Exactly. Like <clears> toboggan <throat> down like the Great Wall. <laughs> like toboggan down the Great Wall of China. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was uh, definitely a once in a lifetime experience for sure. <clears throat> Absolutely. <laughs> I like your little toes that just stick out. I know, those shoes, <clears throat> that was her last adventure. Yeah. They've been retired. They have been. They made it to the end. They made it to the Great Wall of China. It was medium scary. <laughs> yeah, medium scary. Uh, how long did it take for the whole slide ride? The toboggan, maybe? I want to say like 10, 10 to 15 minutes. 10 minutes, maybe? Yeah. It felt a little longer because <clears throat> you're just in the moment. I mean, it was, you know, it was fast, and then you'd get to the corners where the guys would be like, slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down don't. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I definitely recommend tobogganing if you haven't tobogganed. Tobogganing mm -hmm. is, uh, a lot of fun. yeah, a lot of fun. Definitely makes you giggle. <laughs> click, 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 click. Yep, yep, those yep, are the, yep, those, yep. So it's on wheels, but you're on this, like... Metal are we on wheels? Yeah. yeah, I guess we are. Mm -hmm. Nice speed. Nice turn, Nick. Look at that guy go. Yep. Boom, 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 boom. All the way down the floor. Toes sticking up. <clears throat> <laughs> He's telling us to slow down. Yeah. Hey, Cumber Royal. Yeehaw! Cumber Royal cheering up those yeehaw bits. Thank you very much, Cumber Royal. Lieutenant Cumber Royal. Mm hmm. We almost caught up to Nick. Almost. Nick is pretty much a, a fast deviant. <clears throat> And that's our guide behind us there, and yeah. me, of course, shimmying off the Trying trails. to make it to the bottom. Final glory. I'm gonna grab some more water real quick. All Anyone? right. No, I'm good. Super giggles. Um, so then we had uh, we had lunch, um, and it was very, very nice. We went to a uh, traditional uh, Chinese restaurant, and it was the winter solstice, so we had dumplings, special kind of dumplings, uh, for the first day of the winter solstice, and it was so good. Such good food. And then this is us on our way to the Summer Palace, um, and I will tell you about the Summer Palace now. The Summer Palace contains one of the most famous imperial gardens in the world. It is a vast ensemble of lakes, gardens, and palaces in Beijing. Oh? Oh! Is it? Is it? it mm -mm. Is. What does that say? Summer Palace tickets. So this is us walking into the Summer Palace. <clears throat> the origins of the Summer Palace date back to the Jin Dynasty in 1153, when the fourth ruler moved the capital to present-day Beijing. Fact. Fact. It later became the Imperial Garden during the Qing Dynasty, which was the last Imperial Dynasty of China. In 1750, the construction of the Royal Garden started to prepare for the birthday of the ceremony, uh, the birthday ceremony of the Emperor Qing Long's mother, with the original name being. Queen, Queen Yi Garden, which means Garden of Clear Ripples. I remember him saying that so many times, too. Garden of Clear Ripples. Yes. Snail XD, thank you for that community. Give sub bomb and Grave Lily as well. So, like you guys said in the chat, the, uh, the palace was definitely very, very full. Uh, we got there later in the day, so when we were up on the top of the wall, uh, the Great Wall was much less crowded because we got an early start, but then this was later in the afternoon, so it was obviously full of people. And the Emperor was a big fan of these grotesque stones that were worn by the river uh, and eroded into these cool shapes um, and had them all throughout the Summer Palace. 
Uh, this is a mythical beast. Yes, this is a bronze beast called <clears throat> Kai Lin, which is a dra- has a dragon head, a lion tail, deer horns, and cattle hooves. Mm. In the legend, this Kai Lin guards against the destruction by fire. Yes, indeed. And hello, Nick. Hey, Nick. Is Nick really here right now? As I live and breathe. Is Is this this a raid? raid? This is not a raid. Yes. This is just Nick. So this... Nick, this is... This this is is the the, hall... This is it. This is the hall of (laughs) benevolence and longevity. That's right. And Nick was always very curious, what was it like inside the Summer Palace. Here it is, Nick. Yes, well, this is the administrative area of the Emperor's. It was built in 1750 and burned down in 1860 by the Anglo-French Allied Forces and then was reconstructed... French ...was reconstructed in 1888. Well, well reconstructed. Yes. This is a well of sweet water known yes. for its healing properties. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, Nick. This is the part you couldn't see. Yes. We tried to go see the Forbidden City, but it was forbidden it to was us. It was forbidden. We couldn't get there. We can't use the internet in China the way we thought we could. And we can't read or write any Chinese. Yes. None. What were our favorite parts of the... <laughs> Amy, you can go. Um, what were our favorite parts? Um, Definitely the Great Wall. Yeah, the Great Wall, I would say, was my number one. The toboggan was a one. lot of fun. Yeah. Um, just, just getting to... Oh, yeah. What do you think of that? Fresh eggs. That's a fresh eggs. Hot off the press. Hey, Starbird, RK800. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Thank you for Welcome. subscribing. Glad to have you here. Um... So, this is it. This is the long gallery or the long corridor, and it is a perfectly designed structure regarded as the most classic feature in the grounds of the Summer Palace. It is 728 meters long and is the longest corridor in any classic Chinese garden. Long corridor, nice bridge. Yeah. Uh, you're going to see repeated throughout the architecture circles or squares inside of circles. Circles representing the heavens. This is a backwards egg. Yeah. Easy scarf. Um, it's a backwards egg, be scarf. Uh, circles inside squares, and the squares represented earth in the heavens. Yes. Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> um, so. Uh, these are. This is also known as the Colored Paintings Museum, and the paint protects the wood um, from uh, depredation by insects, rain, wind, and sunlight. And uh, these are all different pictures from history, paintings throughout history. If you looked at each one of them, and this is the Tower of Buddhist Incense which is... The Emperor's Temple. Yes. We were not allowed, we were not allowed. inside. I don't know if you guys noticed this about us, but we are not emperors. Not emperors. Jakers7, thank you for subscribing. Welcome yeah. aboard. So we can only see it from afar. Uh, <clears throat> it was very beautiful from a distance, and I can only imagine it was even more beautiful inside. Yes. Everything was very intricate. I mean, it's such an incredible amount of detail. Yeah. So this is this is all the area called... Longevity Hill, and it is the most magnificent area and has the most constructions. Um, then this is the lake. Which Thank you, Samantha. Name is she says we're emperors. Thank you. You're all emperors in my book. Just a whole <laughs> bunch of emperors. The Igby's an emperor. The descending emperor. Slowly descending. No, we did not see Tiananmen Square. Um, we did not. No. But we read about it. We did. We read a lot about Tiananmen Square. And, you know, the, the photograph of uh, the protests with the tank man and so yeah. on. Uh, you know, very influential uh, protests and photography. And, I mean, it's really incredible to think about all the things that happened there. But we, our time was not long enough in... Beijing no. to be able to go to all the to places. To all the places, yeah. Um, 
Hey, Puppet Kerr. Mm -hmm. Glad to have you here, Lieutenant. And Bacon Pants. We've got a bunch of our lieutenants here right now. Bacon Pants? Bacon Pants, too. Oh. I'm trying to imagine what it would be like to wear bacon pants. Probably very... I would have no pants at all because I'd have eaten the bacon. Probably very greasy, right? I feel like it'd be greasy. Mm. Um, Good yeah. intel. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, so beautiful there. So the Summer Palace um, uh, became the Imperial Garden during the Qing Dynasty. Thanks for joining, Wolf. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, I said that already. And then in 1888, the garden was reconstructed and renamed the Summer Palace. And Empress Dawa Sisi um, is really the driving force behind what we're seeing here. Um, but it was also said that she embezzled a lot of the money that was supposed to go towards the Navy to building the Summer Palace. Um, so, yeah. Oops. Don't you just hate that when your empress is like, I got all this money for the Navy, but nah, not gonna build a fancy-ass palace. Instead, I'm gonna build the Marble Boat. Um, Tell us about the Marble which Boat. Which is also known as the Boat of Purity and Ease, and it was built in, built in 1755. Um... And the boat design may relate to a quote that was attributed, that's us, that's us, um, a quote that said that the waters that float the boat can also swallow it, implying that the people can support the emperor, but they can also topple him. And with this in mind, the Queen Lan Emperor might have chosen to construct a marble boat on a solid stone base to indicate that the Qing Dynasty was never to be overthrown. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. That was not quite the case because the last emperor abdicated. So It's true. Mm -hmm. So it was a beautiful marble boat, but the marble boat is built on a base, so it never, Doesn't, it it never floated in the ocean. No, it never or, sailed uh, anywhere. Out, out into the lake. Mm -hmm. Um... Here's a beautiful bridge. Yeah, the sun was setting. It was really, 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 really beautiful. You can see into the marble boat. Amelia should be a tour guide, they say. Thank you. I like gathering facts. Mm -hmm. Dusty Kiwi says they're learning more things here than in school. Really? Well, sometimes I feel like it's because, you know, when you're in school, if you don't like the teacher or you don't like the way the class is conducted, you kind of shut we yourself got off. Eggs. Yeah, and we got a mix. So it's easy to learn alongside a mix. Exactly. Why build a boat if you can't do boat things? I think it was more of a figurative boat. Yeah, it was a figurative party boat. I think also. Um, it's often seen as an ironic commentary on the fact that the money used to restore the Summer Palace <laughs> largely came from funds originally earmarked to build up the new Imperial Navy, and instead that money was used to build a boat that couldn't sail anywhere because it was made of marble. You know, that's a beautiful marble boat, and for my money, I would rather have beautiful marble boats than killing nobody. Yeah, well, it doesn't work if you're... If you have an empire, with other people trying to topple your empire. They had a wall. Yeah. Look at that. Who's that chick? <laughs> A.L. Gray 95, thanks for subscribing. So I think that's the end I of the video. I think that's the end of it. I'm going to go back to full camera here. Full cam. Boom. Oh. Hey, guys. Yeah. So that's our, our Go Deviant adventure. Yes. And then we went on to Guangzhou. Yes. Where we did our... Uh, Appearance at uh, what was it called? Uh, Game, Game Cores Fusion. Game Cores Fusion. Do we have any friends here who were with us in Guangzhou? Yes. Uh, we had a lot of fun there. We got yes. to play some. Played a game called uh, Tippy Tower. Tippy Towers, <laughs> uh, which was a lot of fun. It was. And um, you know, 
Yeah, it was, it was really cool. good. It was very tropical in the south. Um, I was not expecting that at all. It kind of felt a little bit like Jurassic Park. Totally. Um, it was very mountainous, very lush, a lot of palm trees, a lot of tropical plants that you see here in like Los Angeles. Um, so that was really cool. And um, Guangzhou, did I say it correctly? Guangzhou? Guangzhou. Guangzhou, Guangzhou. is where dim sum was invented. So I had a lot of dim sum. We down. had dim sum in Guangzhou. It was so good. It was so good. Um, Thank you guys for joining us for this stream. And if you'll uh, permit us, we're going to do a little bit of a raid here. Mm -hmm. So if you're not familiar with a raid, a raid is where we all, we're all going to rush over to another streamer's channel together and uh, show them a lot of love, make a lot of noise, give them some follows, tell them hello, tell them the Connor Army is ready to party. We're about to cross over 255k in the Connor army, and if we uh, can do that by the end of the year, which I think we can, how, hey Blue and uh, my mods, what, where are we as far as uh, crossing over 255k in the Connor army? Um, we are going to do a voice chat celebration, which is something we did early in the days of the Connor army, where we do a stream where it's just voice chat, it's basically like a phone call. But I can be directly reading the whole chat the whole time. We just hang out and celebrate the fact yeah. that there are so many of us here and building this community together, which is a lot of fun. Like a radio So we're station. about 200 away, it seems. Less than 200. Ooh. Okay, cool. So 197 away. So if you're just... Can we do it before <clears throat> New Year's? If you're just lurking right now and uh, you want to come join us, uh, click the little purple heart above us and you'll get a notification when we go live. And here we go. We're going to do a raid, I think. Uh, colorful mess and blue sounds good. All right, we're going to do a raid. Let them know that the Connor army has arrived. Are you guys yes. ready for this? Thank you. Thank you for coming <laughs> to join us for these Go Deviant streams. Um, these, are, these, are, these are some of my favorite streams uh, because we encourage uh, you to go out and do something that you haven't done before. We going out and doing things that we haven't done before. We've certainly never been to the Great Wall of China. No, We've no. We've never even been to China. <laughs> so the the whole idea is that uh, you know we'll share our experiences and we hope you guys will will, will yeah. too. You can use the hashtag hashtag go, go deviant. deviant or go deviant worldwide. Go deviant worldwide. Show us where you're going. If yes. you're going on a hike with some friends or reconnecting with people that you uh, used to hang out with, or or even uh, going like there's places you know in the in the city that you live in. Maybe there's a, a famous thing or go something. Go to a museum. Yeah, go do go something that like, you haven't done before. Go to the opera. Do what go you're gonna do. Go to the opera. <laughs> go to the opera. Go on deviant in California right now. Says Lucky and Red. Cool. Nice. Cool. So here we go on the raid. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, we're going to be playing Life is Strange mm -hmm. in January, starting on Sundays and on Wednesday nights. Pacific Standard Time, you can always check exclamation point schedule in the stream chat or schedule in the panel below the video, which will, of course, uh, tell you when we're streaming. Yep. We're also going to be starting Red Dead Redemption coming up mm -hmm. on Saturdays, as well as some special guests. Our next Go Deviant stream is January 5th. We went to Moscow, Russia. Yes. And we're we going to have Peter, who plays Connor's, dia uh, Connor's uh, Russian dialogue, his Russian, Russian voice. Yes, the Russian dubbing, right? That's Come join us. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. We'll see you very, very soon. We'll see you. Thank you for joining us. Ciao. We appreciate you. My name is Brian. My name is Amelia. This is Iggs. <laughs> and this is, is our, our Twitch. Twitch. All right, see you guys soon. Have a great night.